Hi everyone, welcome to the video series on Java applets. This is fourth video and the topic for this video is requesting repainting. This is the simplest of the topics and there are less chances of asking this question in the end examinations but we never know what is going to happen. Then he will ask like this, write about the repaint method for two marks. So before I talk any points on this, I will discuss one important point. Now assume this is your applet window. So this is our applet window, applet output window. Now in this window, you are going to display some messages, right? How we are going to display? So we are going to write a method called paint method. Inside this paint method, we are going to use the drawstring methods, right? We are going to call the drawstring methods. But who is going to call the paint method? Who is going to call the paint method? Right? So there is a method called update. Update. So this update method will call the paint method. And again, same question. Who is going to call the update method? Repaint. Repaint. So when you call the repaint method, it will call the update and update will call the paint method and finally the string will be displayed in the output window. This is the procedure. The same thing was given here. So whenever your applet needs to update the information displayed in its window, it simply calls the repaint method. Right. So this repaint method is defined by the AWT package and it causes the runtime system to execute a call to your applet's update method. As I told you, repaint will call the update method, which in its default implementation calls the paint method. That means update will call the paint method. Okay. And if at all, in the question, if we ask to write the four forms of the repaint, then remember all these points. These are all the four different forms of the repaint method. First one is a default one, no arguments. And second one is repaint with, you know, four arguments, left, top, width and height. What is the meaning of this? Suppose, see here, if this is your applet window, this is our applet window. And now, if already data is printed on this applet window, right, already displayed. Now, I want to update only this portion. I want to update only this portion of the window. Okay. Only this portion. Now, how can I do that? See here, the first two values are left and top. Okay. So here the left means the X coordinate of this point and top means the Y coordinate of this point. So you take this point, left coordinate, sorry, X coordinate and Y coordinate. And from this point, what is the third argument? Width. Suppose if width is 200. So from here we are going to count here 200. 200 pixels. And if the height is 100. So from this point you are going to count 100. 100 pixels. So based on these values, you no know, a rectangle can be formed. And in this rectangle, we can display the new information. We can display the new information. And if you see the third form and fourth forms, there we are going to have a maximum delay. Suppose if we give the maximum delay value as 500 milliseconds. So after 500 milliseconds, the update method will not be called. Okay. So you can go through all these points once again. Uh, I have discussed all these points here or in this diagram. 